Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. Motivators, here we are for another episode of the Speak Your Success Podcast. And today it's time to check in. I specifically want to check in because it's time for some grown ish. We're about halfway through the year and I know many of us started off the year new year, new me. It's time to do these goals, it's time to do that, time to get the fitness membership, it's time for me to eat clean, it's time for me to save money, it's time to do all these things. That's why I call it grown ish. Because I had the opportunity to get interviewed on the 10 and 2 podcast. Shout out to Nomni, shout out to Blank and shout out to Miss Alexia. And after sitting down talking with them, one of the questions they asked me were, John, do you set goals or did you used to set goals? And then I sat there and I said, I would love to love lie to the people and tell them I've been setting goals. I've been consistent with setting goals. And now we're just definitely progressing. However, that was not the case. I couldn't even say that I've been consistently setting goals and moving forward in my life by doing just that. Since that time, I've reflected on that statement as well as sitting with my mentee just yesterday. And when me and him began to talk, I asked him, I said, hey, man, do you write down your goals? He said, "Nah, I'm good on writing down my goals because I keep them in my head and I don't need to write them out on paper because they're ingrained in my mind. And at that point, then I wanted to tell him, do as I say, not as I do. But that's not how it works in life. We can't expect people to do things that we're not even doing ourselves. We can't expect people to follow a blueprint that we've never even laid out. So after sitting there talking with him and then today getting on a call this morning and then the gentleman began to talk about goal setting. He began to talk about what we need to do to put those things in place in order to grow and manifest the plans that we have for our lives I realized that it was time for me to get back to goal setting. So today, the title of the episode is Grown-ish Goal Setting Check-In. And I specifically want to do that because I think it can be so easy for us to start out with a vision, start out with a plan, start out with a great idea, but never want to write it down. Or we can begin to take these things and take these items and we write it down, but then we bury it in the back of our notebook. We put it on a note. We put it in a shoebox. We say, I'm going to check on this at the end of the year, and then we completely forget about it. So, friends, today I'm going to come with you. I'm going to come to you honest. I'm going to come to you transparent, and I'm going to come to you vulnerable as I know how. Because I feel that checking in on our goals and setting goals is so pivotal. Therefore, I sat up this morning and I began to write out my goals. Right. I, I, I wrote Jonathan's goals. <sighs> right. So I want you to go ahead and get a piece of paper. If you're driving, then I don't want you to get a piece of paper right now. But I want you to begin to identify because th- this uh, let me let me go ahead and say this. This episode is inspired by DJ Knotts, a.k.a. Mr. Kanata. I believe Kanata's last name is Nicholson, but he's a he's a local DJ in Atlanta. Phenomenal DJ. But he did the call this morning. And this is where I I. I I bit some of this information from, and I don't want to discredit Kanata, so I will give DJ Knotts his full credit. And this is something that he laid out, and then I just put a little spin on it. Um, So the first thing I want you to do, I want you to grab a piece of paper, and I want you to lay out a professional goal. Okay? And, and, And for me, the professional goal was, like I always talk about on this podcast, the goal for me is to be able to Excuse me. I will become an individual who solely is uh, an entrepreneur who is making revenue by speaking, by uh, selling books and by selling impact ultimately. And for me, so that professional goal came about yesterday when I was on. uh, I was in my group chat with a gentleman by the name of Mike Nelson. He's a phenomenal speaker. And Mike went on to say. Mike went on to say, he said. JJ, I challenge you. I challenge you to figure out what that particular area is, what that niche is that will allow you to make $500 an hour so therefore you won't have to Uber because he was basically challenging me to buy my time back. And I looked at that message after Mike sent it to me and I said, wow, that's a really good point. Because now I'm Ubering and it's just enough to pay the bills. I'm Ubering, it's just enough to cover this, just enough to cover that. 
However, I'm still not able to pay some other things or do some other things or splurge in some other areas because Ubering takes up so much time and I'm not allowing myself the time or making it a priority to be able to do other things in that time because I'm spending that time Ubering, right? So I want you to begin to think about like what are what's an area in your life professionally where you can now challenge yourself to say, man, this is what I want to accomplish. This is what I want to be able to obtain. Because for me, it was identifying what I need to see as my niche to where I can command more money in my specific space of speaking to be able to stop Ubering. That's, that's the first area. So the first area is a professional goal. Identify that for yourself in your line of work, whatever that might be, whatever that might look like. Secondly, I want you to think about a personal goal, right? And, and personal goals, these could be things that you, speci- areas you specifically want to grow in in your personal life. It might be you wanting to challenge yourself to provide more balance by spending more time with your significant other, spending more time with your children, spending more time bettering yourself on a personal level, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe investing in personal development, maybe getting a coach so that they can get you to the next level, whatever that might be. For me, my personal goal was to get to know God more intimately. I put down embracing quiet time. Taking my time and not rushing to pray and to listen to my praise and worship music and to sit in my space in the morning just to be at peace and to pray, just being at complete peace. Because there have been other times where I'm like, oh, let me get in this. Okay, God, you got 30 minutes. I'm out of here. Okay, God, there's this. But now I'm, I'm realizing that if I don't make God a priority, why, will, why should God make me a priority? So I had to challenge myself and see that this is a personal goal and this is a personal area I want to grow in by allowing myself to make God a priority. Because in my life, I've put God on the back burner. I've said, you know what? Oh, let me read this scripture. Oh, I'm good for the day. Oh, let me do this. Ah, it's time for me to move. God, you, hey, you know, you did wake me up this morning, but at the same time, I got to go get this money, bruh. Still not understanding or still not even really taking hold of the fact that God is a good father. God is an individual who provides for my needs, have and will always provide for my needs. Or at least put me in a position to provide for my own needs. Providing opportunity, providing um, a talent to where I can begin to leverage providing a gift to where I can utilize to monetize so I can provide for myself and my future family. So what's that personal goal for you, for you to grow, for you to move forward, for you to take on new levels in your life, for you to begin to attack tasks, for you to begin to slash out other goals? And then lastly, I want to leave you with the principal goal. You know, this is something that that, that really floats around the core beliefs of an individual. This is something that, you know, that, like how people say, you know, I just wanted somebody to say apology because it was the principle of the thing. So now I want you to look at this and think, okay, well, principle goal, what does that look like for me? For me, specifically, the principle goal is attacking debt like nobody's business. Being debt free by the end of 2018. And I'm saying debt free, clearing credit card debt, clearing personal debt. Uh, however, I have a massive amount of student loan debt. I'm not even going to lie to you all. I have a massive amount of student loan debt. However, the goal for me here is to eliminate all of those personal credit decisions. My business credit, eliminate all of that, take care of all of that. That way I would have created the habit to now begin to attack the student loan debt. So friends, I just want you to begin to think about these things, the professional, the personal, and the principal goal. DJ Knotts did a great job of laying out this information because understanding that when we do write goals, that allows us to begin to accomplish what we have laid out for ourselves. The Bible says, write the vision and make it plain. As I was talking to my mentor the other day, and my mentee the other day, and as I told you all, 
He asked me, do I write my goals? And I told him no. So then upon me leaving, I had to realize that in order for him to do what I'm asking him to do, I need to do it first. I need to lead by example. Leading by example is stepping out on the ledge before anybody else even thinks to take the step. So I had to understand that I have to set the bar high in my own life. And then by leading in action and in deed, he will follow suit by seeing the results and by seeing the success I've been able to achieve by me doing these things, by me setting out goals, by me making it plain, by me getting organized, by me creating structure, then he'll begin to ask, well, how did you do? Well, what helped you get understanding that if I've been able to do this, that, and the third by setting goals, writing them out, then he knows that he can take the same route and achieve the same level of success so friends that really is all i had for us today i wanted us to really check in on those goals check in where we're at because ultimately we need to realize that the amount of success that we're able to obtain will solely be determined based on the level of work that we put in the amount of effort that we put forth so i don't want you to get caught up Scoreboard watching, like we talked about, I believe, on episode 16. Looking at everybody else's success, looking at everybody else's goals, basing your goals upon theirs. But I want you to look and analyze your own life's goals. Look and analyze your own dreams. Look and analyze your own vision. And by you doing that, then that helps you create authentic goals for your own individual life. Nobody else's goals matter here. No, what anybody else is doing does not matter here. This only is about why, oh, you this is your grown ish these are your goals this is what you desire for your life don't allow anybody to shift your desire don't allow anybody to shift your dream don't allow anybody to shift the goals and the plans that you have because i believe that at times it can be so easy to get swayed by other people's beliefs it can be so easy to do what everybody else wants us to do In psychology, they call this the self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a way that people see us. Then ultimately, we become that in our own minds because we've began to identify so much with what people have placed on us, the words they've labeled us, the things that they've called us. So don't fall into the self-fulfilling prophecy of what other people say about you. But I want you to stand bold and know what God says about you and know that God says that you're chosen. And know that God says that you have a gift. And I want you to tap into that gift today. And I want you to now be empowered. I want you to now be encouraged. And I want you to now go forth and knock off these goals one by one so that you can live a free life. So that you can live a passionate life. So that you can be unapologetically yourself. There's too many people out here trying to live for other people. There's too many people out here Trying to do the things the way that other people said that they should do in their own life. It's time out for the games. Like I said before, the the title of this episode is Grown-ish. Because that's what it is. It's time for us to step it up in our goals. It's time for us to step it up in our dreams. It's time for us to stop cutting corners to do things half-heartedly because other people have said that we need to do them. It's time to go all in in your own life. That's Grown-ish. That's making some real life decisions. That's doing what you have to do in order to have the life and create the life and business of your dreams. Like we always say, it's time out, friends. It's time to grow up. It's time to get on some grown ish. Friends, as always, we appreciate the continued encouragement, the continued support. If you would like to support us on the Speak Your Success podcast, we would just ask that you just take a quick moment and you just go to iTunes and leave a review. Write us some comments. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you love. Let us know where we can improve. And also, you can connect with us on any social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at SYS Podcast One. And this is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way?